Here we're going to be looking at question 2 on the Enger 2018 paper. In this question, we're told that we start with a nucleus X, and that via a series of decays, this nucleus X decays into a nucleus Y. We're also told that in this series of decays, um, that we have five alpha particles emitted and two beta particles emitted. The question then asks us, how many fewer protons does nucleus Y contain than nucleus X? So how many um, protons does our final nucleus contain compared to our original nucleus? This is all the information the question gives us, so let's go ahead and try and find an answer. Let's begin by considering the alpha particles emitted in our decay. If we think about a single alpha particle, we know that it has a mass number of 4 and a proton number of 2. This proton number of 2 means that the alpha particle has two protons in it, so with each decay, the X nucleus shall lose two protons. Therefore, if we lose five alpha particles, then the, alpha part the contribution of the five alpha particles shall result in X losing 10 protons. There we are, so that's all we need to think about with our alpha emissions. Let's go on and look at our beta minus emissions. Now you could be forgiven for just thinking that a beta minus emission is just an electron leaving the nucleus, so why would it affect the number of protons? But it's important to wonder where the beta minus emission comes from. So the beta minus decay begins with a single neutron, and this neutron can decay into a proton and a beta minus particle. Now an easy way of remembering this is by using conservation of charge. So we know that initially our neutron has a charge of zero, and our proton has a charge of plus one, and our beta minus particle has a charge of minus one. Therefore, we have a final charge of zero. So charge is conserved, it begins at zero and ends at zero. Now if we look at our little diagram, then we can see that with each beta minus emission, we get one more proton in the nucleus. So, one beta minus emission results in one more proton in the nucleus, and therefore, if we have two beta minus emissions, we shall gain two protons. Now that we've considered both of the different types of emissions, let's see what the number of proton or the difference in the number of protons is. So we lost 10 protons with the alpha emission, yet we gained two protons due to the beta minus emissions. Therefore, in total, we should have lost eight protons, giving an answer of B.